Hi! Thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn on how to use the 16x2 LCD module using the Raspberry Pi Pico with the MicroPython language. We will communicate directly to the LCD module using the 4-bit mode without using an I2C driver module. This tutorial is useful in case that you only have the LCD module with no I2C interface converter on it. What I have here is a Raspberry Pi Pico attached to a 16x2 LCD module. Now to power this LCD module, I hook up the positive power rail to the pin 40 B bus of the Raspberry Pi Pico, this pin, to get a 5 volts power supply, while the negative power rail is tied to the Raspberry Pi Pico ground pin. Now for the circuit connection, pin 1 or BSS is connected to the ground, pin 2 or BDD pin is connected to the positive power supply, pin 3 or BO is connected to the center wiper of the potentiometer, while the other side of the potentiometer is connected to the positive supply or BCC, while the other side is connected to the ground. Pin 4 or RS pin is connected to GPIO 8 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Pin 5 or RW is connected to the ground. Enable pin or pin 6 is connected to GPIO 9. While D4, D5, D6, and D7 pin of the LCD is connected to Raspberry Pi Pico GPIO 10, 11, 12 and 13 respectively and the anode pin or pin 15 is connected to the BCC while the cathode pin or pin 16 is connected to the ground and I hook up the Raspberry Pi Pico using the micro USB connector to my computer now for the software part I use an external driver library to drive this LCD module. I use the driver library provided by Dave Highlands on his GitHub. I will post the links for your reference. I use the LCD underscore API.py as the base driver library and the ESP32 GPIO underscore LCD.py as the utility library in order to communicate with the LCD using the 4-bit mode. Then I save it in the Raspberry Pi Pico MicroPython root directory. As you can see, I have here a simple source code for the demonstration. Basically, we import the GPIO LCD class from the GPIO LCD driver library. We initialize the object as follows. We give the pin assignment. Then we set the how many lines that's, does the LCD have versus its column. So this one has 16 columns and two lines. So currently this one is running then this line of code is executed, which is the LCD that puts string and the string you want to print out on the LCD. If you want to clear the LCD, you may send LCD.clear. Open and close parentheses and hit enter. And the LCD will be cleared. You may set exactly the position of the cursor by using the move to function which needs a two parameters which is this is the y this is the column position and this one is the line position let's try this one let's say lcd that move to let's say put on the second line and on the first row 
So that is 1 and 1. Hit enter. Then let's put a string. Put a string. Let's say hello or let's say text to tinker. Hit enter. And the text is displayed in the LCD. You can try other functions available here. Let's try the last example, which displays a custom character. I will paste it in the repo. I will remove the comments. I will hit enter. And as you can see, the custom character is displayed at the end of the string. So, that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here including other details can be found at my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this tutorial, be sure to write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.